Top 10 Spooky Urban Legends About Small Towns America's little communities have a certain charm. Each of them varies somewhat from the others. Some charming, tiny towns have important historical significance. Others, though, stand out as notable locals. But none of those topics are included in our list today. The subject is small villages with eerie myths. There are persistent stories about horrible murders, enigmatic creatures, and frightening places all around the United States. While some of these myths are well-known worldwide, others are just well-known locally. However, the list that follows is definitely not for the faint of heart. Be careful as we talk about 11 scary stories from small towns in Alabama, Idaho, Rhode Island, and Colorado. Hi there welcome to Topics World. Please give your suggestions in the comment section. Number 10, Mercy Brown, the Rhode Island Vampire, Exeter, Rhode Island. The New England witch trials are well known. But there was also a time when vampires were feared in New England. Mercy Brown's heartbreaking story is one of these. Brown had a challenging upbringing because both her mother and sister passed away from TB. She had the illness when she was just 19 and died on January 17, 1892. Locals were wary of Brown's family because of all the fatalities nearby. Many of them thought there may be witchcraft or vampires at play. She was exhumed after she had been buried. Residents saw the fact that her body was too perfectly preserved, but was it really, as an indication of the paranormal? The strange part comes afterwards. Mercy Brown's heart and liver were removed by the vampire reverse residents of Exeter, Rhode Island, who then burned them to ashes. And if that weren't enough, they fed her living brother the ashes. In barely two months, he passed away. The people of Exeter say that Mercy Brown's ghost still lives in the cemetery there. Number 9, Riverdale Road, Thornton, Colorado. Short Riverdale Road may be found close to Thornton, Colorado. It makes up for its lack of size with a legend. Locals have mentioned witnessing phantom cars and the ghost of a runner. The gates of hell, however, are the most well-known of these Riverdale Road legends. This urban legend is about an ancient home, which is in total disrepair. On the premises, a guy allegedly burned his wife and children alive. Numerous claimed ghost sightings have occurred since then. These include a ghostly pack of hounds as well as the spirits of slaves who were hanged on the property and the madman's wife. Since the middle of the 1800s, tales of this nature have been told. Whether it's true or not, it's definitely best to avoid Riverdale Road, especially at night, unless you're a ghost hunter. Number 8, The West Virginia Mothman, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. The next small town myth is a little more recent than the others on our list. In 1966, a tale was created, or may be discovered, in the little West Virginian community of Point Pleasant. Apparently, a man-sized flying insect-like thing was spotted flying through the town. The eyes of this monster were blazing red and had glowing lights. Locals gave it the nickname, the Mothman, due to its huge wings and mix of human and insect features. Outside of the immediate area, the Mothman mythology has grown in popularity. The Mothman Prophesies, a 2002 film, is even based on the legend. Locals and other skeptics of the paranormal have made assumptions about the Mothman. Others believe it may be an extraterrestrial, while some believe it to be a government experiment. Even in 2016, residents still claim sightings. I think the media attention has helped Point Pleasant, and people seem to like its unique qualities, even if they are scary. Number 7, Runaway Jogger, Canyon Hill, Idaho. 
The Canyon Hill Cemetery is one of the most noticeable aspects of the little hamlet of Canyon Hill, Idaho. The cemetery serves as the focal point of many of the unsettling small-town tales on our list. The Midnight Jogger is the name of the local legend. The jogger only shows up at the cemetery and only in a precise location, according to believers. Fearful residents have reported hearing a banging sound on their windows that they believe to be the ghostly apparition. It appears to be a pretty unique ghost, for sure. What on earth are all these people doing at night at a cemetery? Given the dearth of activities in tiny towns, this tale could have been written for amusement or pleasure. Number 6, The Dog Boy of Arkansas, Quitman, Arkansas Another fabled monster is the subject of our following narrative, which originates from the Arkansas town of Quitman. As funny as it may sound, the history of the Arkansas dog boy is actually rather sinister. Gerald Bettis grew up in Arkansas throughout the 1970s. He was a challenging kid both in and out of the classroom. The thing that worried me the most was how he treated animals, especially dogs. Bettis experimented on vulnerable creatures while torturing canines and having a rather dark mindset. Later in life, he would abuse and, according to mythology, murder his parents as a way of venting his rage. His tale served as the basis for the legend of the Arkansas dog boy. Local folklore claims that the dog boy is a six-foot-tall, over 300-pound hybrid of a man and a dog. The folklore also claims that he pursues and pursues his victims, following closely behind. Number 5, Bridge Across Hell's Gate, Oxford, Alabama The Hell's Gate Bridge near Oxford, Alabama, which should not be confused with the Hell's Gate of Riverdale Road, has a fabled tale attached to it. There are, in reality, two. Both date back to the 1950s and deal with what happens to automobiles when they cross over the road. The earliest urban legend claims a couple died after driving off a bridge. According to legend, if you pull over on the bridge, the ghostly pair will sit in your vehicle and leave a wet spot behind. The second urban legend has gained considerable ground. This spooky tale claims that if you look in your rearview mirror or over your shoulder as you cross the bridge, you will glimpse hell itself. Sp in any case, cars aren't allowed on the bridge right now, and it's too dangerous to walk across. Number 4, The Candy Lady, Texas The Candy Lady continues to terrify both children and adults in a tiny Texas community. A legend that dates back to the early 20th century claims that the Candy Lady attracted kids by leaving treats on their windowsills at night. She watches through the window as the kids reach for the sweets. She then snatches them up. Sweets on the ledge. In other stories, a farmer found rotting teeth on his property, a sheriff's officer had candy in his pockets and his eyes were sticking out, and a dead child had candy wrappers in his pockets. It is difficult to determine how much of it is myth and how much is factual, given how much time has elapsed. One thing is certain, this concept was most likely developed to discourage children from eating candy or trusting strangers. The candy lady makes me uneasy. Number 3, The Bride of Italy, Elmhurst, Illinois. In the Illinois town of Elmhurst, we begin our adventure. There is a cemetery in the town with a terrifying legend. A life-sized marble statue of a woman is found in the graveyard. Not only that, but the woman is dressed in a bridal gown, which is really unique. Local myths are still prevalent across the region. In addition to spotting a ghostly person roaming through the cemetery at night and even at the adjacent high school, locals have also reported smelling fresh flowers. Julia Bucola Petta is the person whom the statue makes eternal. Petta passed away in delivery in 1921, more than a century ago. Petta has recently married as well as become a mother. Her kin decided to bury her while she was wearing her bridal gown. 
According to the legend, after her daughter's passing, Petter's mother experienced several nightmares. On its own, this is unsettling enough, but in her dreams, her daughter demanded that she uncover her grave. Reopening the burial revealed Julia Bucola Petter, who was remarkably well preserved. The story grew after Petter's mother obtained money to build a monument, and it has now spread far. Use caution if this creepy small town tale makes you uncomfortable. They're just going to become creepier. Number 2, The Rabbit Man, Fairfax, Virginia. Arkansas is not the only state with a legendary creature with a silly, even comical moniker. In the town of Clifton, Virginia, the Bunny Man makes his home. The origin of the Bunny Man is connected to a local asylum. Patients from the asylum were being transported when their vehicle crashed. One patient escaped and became the Bunny Man. This was back in the early 1900s, but the legend persists. He was given his name because when police were looking for him, they kept finding skinned, partially eaten rabbits. In particular, many of these rabbits were hung on Fairfax Bridge. Local legend has changed the name to the Bunny Man Bridge. This is one myth on our list that may have more truth to it than others do, making it even more creepy. In October of 1970, more than 60 years after the bus crash, several people reported seeing a man in a white suit with bunny ears and carrying a hatchet. Does this make anyone else think of the movie Donnie Darko? The town of Clifton embraces the legend now, particularly around Halloween. Number 1, The Gateway to Hell is Stull Cemetery in Kansas, Stull, Kansas. Yet another entrance to hell? I suppose the devil also needs to travel. This one is located in the little Kansas town of Stull. Their local myth focuses on Satan as well as hell. Satan supposedly makes two appearances in Stull each year. For the spring equinox and Halloween, he makes an appearance in the local graveyard. Near the cemetery are the ruins of a church that Satan used as a doorway to and from hell. A hanging tree that was once used to hang witches is another highlight of the region. Some people think that this is why Satan is drawn to the location. Amazingly, fresh graves are still being excavated in the cemetery while it is still in use. Thanks for watching.